everyone. Today I thought I would show you my semi-homemade spaghetti sauce recipe. And I use hamburger meat, 93%. I'm using about a pound and a half today. I preheated my pan. I'm gonna brown the hamburger meat first. Use my handy little thing that my grandma gave me a few years ago for specially for hamburger. It works really nice to break it up. To the meat, I'm going to add a few spices. I am going to be using this spaghetti sauce that I bought from the store. In the past, I have made it totally from scratch, but that takes a little bit longer than I want to take with kids and dogs and crazy life. And so just to add a little bit extra flavor, I usually do some oregano. I'd say probably about a tablespoon. I usually go by whatever I feel like. Some Italian seasoning. And you can really do whatever your family prefers. Put just a little bit of salt. And a little black pepper. All right, once the meat is browned, and I do drain off some of the fat because I don't want that in my sauce, even with 93%, there's still a little bit. So this is nice and browned now. We are going to add, depending, I love onion, so I'm gonna do a cup and a half of onion. It's probably about a medium to large onion. Then I'm going to put in one and a half jalapeno peppers that I took the seeds out. If you don't like it spicy, you can use any pepper that you like. You just add like a little bit of, of spice, and sometimes that's not even spicy enough, so I actually add a little crushed red pepper flakes as well. And we're just going to let that cook for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add about three mushrooms. My family doesn't like them that much, so I'm going to keep them in big pieces, and I'm going to use those for myself. I'm just going to have this cook a little bit, and we're going to put the sauce in. All right, that's cooked for a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce. You can use whatever you prefer. I just buy this stuff because it's about 88 cents to a dollar per, and then I just add whatever seasoning I like. Today I am using the traditional and the garlic herb, and they are different brands. But we like it. I add just a little bit of water to it and get all that good sauce out. And then we're just gonna let this simmer for a little while till all of our vegetables are nice and cooked through. And I'm then gonna taste it and see if I need to add any more spices or whatever to our preferences. So I will be back to show you the finished product. All right guys, we are back with our finished spaghetti sauce that has been simmering. It smells delicious. I cannot wait to try it. Tonight I have decided for a healthier choice to pair it with spaghetti squash, which I do have a video on that. Do keep in mind it is not going to taste like authentic spaghetti with noodles but it is a healthier option which I absolutely love because I love the taste of the sauce and it really just combines well. And here is what it looks like. And I am actually going to try a bite. See how it went. Now for my favorite part, the taste testing. It smells delicious. Let me see if it actually tastes as good as it smells. Mm -mm. That is so good, if I do say so myself. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch me next time. If you want to check out my spaghetti squash video, go on to the other video. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.